There we are. We are live. Hi. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our segment with West Coast Beauty for Flow Hair Care at Behind the Chair. Um, before I get started, I just want to tell you I'm shooting here from downtown Toronto, and we are at a, in a lockdown situation. So uh, Mercedes is our house model, and both of us preemptively got our COVID tests, and we are negative. So this is why I'm not wearing a mask. So please uh, practice safe hair dressing, guys. I just want to start with that. So welcome, everybody. And today, what we're going to be doing is talking about how to create a fabulous high fashion ponytail. Um, I want to be sharing different ways that we can create something different for our clients to experience something unique in the hair salon. So I, I, I'm kind of known for my ponytails. I always have different ponytails in my collection. So I wanted to show a way that we can do one that's really fabulous, um, a way that it's like really polished and not necessarily the soccer mom hairdresser, uh, soccer mom type of ponytail, more of like the Prada high fashion ponytail. Detail. So when I show you, I'm just going to turn you here. Now on the camera over here on the side is Miss Rosalind McBean. She's going to be answering any questions for you guys. And if you guys make comments as we go through this uh, for West Coast Speedy and have any questions, you have an opportunity to win this incredible gift bag, which I'm going to be talking about as we go on together. Okay? We're so excited to give away the product to you. So ask lots of questions, make lots of comments. We're excited to discuss it with you. Yeah, please ask anything you want. We're here to help you and we love to buy our friendship and give you presents. So please <laughs> go ahead and like comment us anything, questions that you have or anything you just want to discuss, please comment and Roz will go ahead and ask some of those questions. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is we're going to be dealing with some directional bow styling today and also too we're going to be dealing with um, how to tie a ponytail properly so that we don't have this kind of droopy drawer situation in the back. Now what really makes a ponytail fabulous on a woman is the elongation of the neck. So we really want to make sure that this distance from here to the shoulder is really wide. So what I'm going to get uh, our clients to do before I get started is I get you to isolate this into two sections, especially when she has lots of hair. Now, I'm very lucky we pick our house models properly. Mercedes has incredible hair, but she has a lot of it. Okay, so if you're not really comfortable like doing a really tight ponytail in one step, it's probably better to work in sections, just like when you're blow styling and just like when you're cutting. Work in sections so you have a little bit more control. So what I've done is I've taken a section at the top of the head, okay? So if you're looking for where the top of the head is where your comb will sit flat, okay? And I've isolated that all the way to the back of the occipital bone, or sorry, the mastoid bone. So your mastoid bone is this little bump that's behind your ear, and you're noticing that I'm going right behind the ear because I want to make sure that I have all this section here in the front with enough hair to hide that section. And then the next section we've gone on the top is this whole top section here, including this guy, but I'm going to start with this to show you to directionally blow style. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we've isolated those sections. What I'm going to be using to get started with this is I'm going to start with directional blow styling. So some very good advice I got early in my career is, you know, he should say, darling, you know, soccer mom ponytail is put up where a fashion ponytail is blow styled into place. So this is a great way that I like to show um, my apprentices and my babies what I call directional blow styling because it really controls where the hair is going to go. So first thing I'm going to introduce you is to our Radiant Armor. Radiant Armor is one of my very favorite part, products of all time. I use it so much to protect thermal protecting, of course, but also too for directional blow styling. So I want to show you, we're going to take a really small section because I find a lot of times when we're doing directional blow styling, we actually use too much hair and not enough products. It's not evenly distributed. And then what I'm going to do is start blow drying the hair towards the area where I want the hair to go. So we're basically, I'm just going to turn the heat on this little Wiley basically directing it to my section so that I'm not going to be fighting any flyaways. I'm going to take another section and isolate that out. So are we starting this hairstyle dry? Thank you for asking that. Yes, we are starting this dry. Now, the reason why I want to start this dry is because at this point, um, before I start doing the ponytail, I've done most of the directional blow styling ahead of time, right? Now, I find that if you're trying to put the hair up wet, if I could give you advice, if you're working with dry hair or wet hair, it has to be consistent all the way through. So for me, I would say consistently dry. So I'm taking my blue, I'm taking my comb, and you'll notice that I'm directing the hair, directing the hair into the area that I want it to go. Now, if you take a look at Mercedes' hairline, she's got a lot of little baby hairs and a lot of baby curls. So that's going to alleviate and get rid of all of that problem before we go ahead and get started. Now, I want to share with you, this is where a lot of times hairdressers go wrong. They take a great big huge section like this and pull it all up and then just spray this area. Now, the problem is, is that this is the only part of the hair that's getting penetrated with product. 
So the best advice I could give you is application is 90% of what hairdressers do. So we want to make sure that when we're applying it, that it's evenly distributed and that the product is evenly distributed. So you can help me with that, dear. So you see, as I'm spraying that radiant armor, I'm taking it literally section by section. And I'm focusing on the root so we can get rid of those little curls, get rid of those little presses, so I don't have to fight it. And we can see just to prove that the hair wants to go in that direction. So we're blow drying into the spot where we want to be. Now, as I'm doing this, I want to have another opportunity to talk about West Coast Beauty while we're here. West Coast Beauty is a pretty unique uh, division of distribution. We are the very first distributor of its kind to be completely online, which means that we can retail to our clients anywhere, anytime. But also, it means that we really have a modern partner for hairstylists, finally, because we also have access to some of the best education in the world. Hey, behind the chair. Hey. And we also have access to some of the best products in the world. So now it means that we get to be a real partner with hairdressers all over the world where they can retail 24-7, seven days a week, but also get the access to the support that they need today. And that includes education and sales support. So we have a question, which is, what type of hair dryer are you using? Thank you for bringing that up. I'm using a Dyson. And I got to say, I really like it. Um, what I like about the Dyson is it's uh, a little bit more quiet than the traditional one. But also, too, I am using the nozzle for control. So we can see, Roz, if you can go right up into her hairline, we can see the difference in what that does to her hairline. We're seeing how it wants to go up versus here. Can you see it was just kind of frizzy and it wants to like have curlies? So we're going to get rid of those before we start trying to do the ponytail, if that makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. So again, Radiant Armor, which is one of my favorite. And just so you know, my friends, we love to buy our friendship here at Flow Hair Care. And so Radiant Armor is part of that incredible gift package that you can win today. If you make comments and if you comment on this section below, you get an opportunity. Hey, Melanie, can you hear me? We cannot hear you. If you can hear me saying that, could you um, refresh? Could you rejoin? There we go. There we are. Great. Y'all are back. Thank you. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Thank you for apologizing for the technical difficulties. This is the thing. Welcome to 2020. It's how we can be flexible and how we can learn together. Oh my God, I yeah. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to keep going up here. So if you wouldn't mind, Ross, coming right here to the side, because this is where we really want to see. These are the spots that become kind of a problem later on when we're trying to get into that ponytail. So I'm really going to make sure that I'm accessing that. You see how much product we've used. And I'm going to start right at her root to make sure that it's going up ahead of time. See the difference in that? Yeah. Before we get started. So now we're not going to be fighting so much. I can see those baby hairs have just disappeared. Yeah, this is it. We want to just try to work smart, not hard, right? It's the best thing we can do. And also, too, it's going to direct. You're noticing I'm directing the hair right up to the spot where it wants to go. We can see that even without a pin, 
or even without like any sort of clip, it's literally going where we want it to be. Okay, so we have control over that. And once we've done that, where we're happy with all that direction of low styling, you're just gonna join that to our first section. And I did this side for you guys ahead of time, so you don't have to watch the whole directional blow style. I mean, it's fun. Now, I want to share with you, too, I do directional blow styling for a bunch of different things. I mean, also, too, if I'm prepping for a haircut, or also, too, if I'm, like, trying to get, you know, kink out to prep to do, like, a beautiful fringe cut or something like that. So it, it's about having more control over our hair, okay? And also, too, it creates a bit of a set, you know, before we get started, okay? So when you're doing this, I want to share with you guys something that um, is very interesting that I've been using this for many years and every time I bring this out, people freak out and I find it really funny. This, my friend, is, friends, is called Elastic Cord. Um, Michael's Gift or Craft uh, Stores, I'm sure they have that in America too, right? Um, I always joke and say craft stores love me because I just come in and they, they make lots of money off of me because of that. So these come in all kinds of rolls with all different colors. So what you're gonna need is some of this and you can get it anywhere and generally I like to have it about usually about this length of my forearm, about a foot long ahead of time, okay? And I prep these ahead of time to show you. And I'm going to use this color on purpose so that we can really see the elastic, okay? When we're working with it together. Can you help me, audience participation? Put your hands together for Miss Mercedes Mitchell. She's a pro model. We always, not only is she administrative assistant, all around great person, she's also our fabulous model, okay? <laughs> so because I've done this directional styling, guys, you can see already where the hair wants to go. Like we can see already because I did this all the way through the back section, I'm just gonna release it. You'll see that it wants to stay up in that ponytail section, okay? So I'm not gonna be fighting it as much, which is lovely. So I'm gonna share with you, when you're searching for your ponytail, I find a lot of times people get really tight, like really tense. Can you see the difference in how the hair like conforms when we do this? So I want you to get to a spot where you're happy. That's your baseline or your guide, okay? and your hand's gonna stay still. Now we're gonna introduce you to a working hairspray. So for my baby hairdressers in the room, you need to use this. Just on top of the hair is not enough. We have to make sure we're applying it evenly. So I'm gonna go through this section and we're gonna apply all the way through the root. Here's a question. Yes. Does it take a few tries to get used to using the elastic cord? I always worry about the tension. That's a great question. I'm going to tell you, from my experience, the tension is so much easier. Because what happens is, I'm going to share with you, just to show you how our hands work, okay? To show how we function. So let's imagine, and I have an elastic band on my hand, so we can show it, okay? So if we have it like this, what happens is, is you have to release and then drop for it to come up. And see already how much droopy drawers we have back there because of that? We lose a lot of tension because you're wrapping the hair around, right? Mm -hmm. So with this instead, we'll show you with this. We're going to notice that you get a lot more tension. So again, when you're brushing this to see with that beautiful direction of blow styling, how much easier it is to pull the hair up to the section where I'm happy. Okay. And if you have any questions while we're commenting on this for West Coast Beauty, you know, of course, you get the opportunity to win your product. So I'm gonna find some nice spot that makes me very happy. So Roz, if you could just kind of come over my hand so we can see. The knuckle of my thumb is going to be my reference point. And if I turn her to the head, we'll see that her eyebrow is angled to the spot. So it's really gonna lift the face and lift the neck. Can you show that one more time? Sure. So we can see if we take a look, right? If we draw a line from her eyebrow to where we want it to be, See how it's going to lift that hair all the way up, mm. okay? Now, of course, this can be the same for a low ponytail, for a side ponytail. Ponytails are a wonderful fundamental because most of the things we create in high fashion are ponytail driven. Mm. Okay, so making sure it's beautiful. I'm a bit of a control freak, forgive me. <laughs> okay, so and I'm going to share with you, I'm going to show you this. We take it and I leave about a couple inches. Can we see? Mm -hmm. And I'm holding it with my thumb. I'm just going to. Go in here and show. Okay. Holding with the thumb. And then you're going to go in front of your thumb and in front of that line. So we go in front of my thumb. You see? In front of my thumb. And see how it's tense. And I'm going to have her put her head back too when she's doing this because that tension is going to pull it all the way up. So see how chill I am too? I'm not like freaking out and pulling it tighter. My hand is staying exactly in the same spot. 
And now because I have all of this space, see how cool in the gang that is? Totally cool. We tie it once. We tie it twice. Just to be safe. If you're like me, because I'm superstitious, I do everything three times. Any other hairdressers like that? <laughs> okay. The power of three. Three times. And then pull. Now, I just want to share with you, we're going to clean this up, of course, but do you see the distance from her neck to that ponytail? I'm just going to back out a little bit. Wow. Okay. And that's what gives it this lift. Okay. So because we've done all of this directional blow styling, this stuff is easy peasy now. Right? Does it look good? That is tight. Tight. Okay. Tight. So this is what we're going to do. And now I'm just going to go ahead and snip these little guys here. Please make sure you tell them that you're just snipping these guys. For some reason, clients think that we're cutting your hair. Of course we are. <laughs> you're cutting off the ponytail. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, so with this, I'm using my workable spray. And my workable spray, I'm going to just keep going in there so it has a nice bit of consistency and it's got a good bit of grip. Now, if you want to come in here to see, I want to show you a way that we can get rid of some of these lines, okay? What I call them comb lines. Mm. So you're going to go inside here like this, and we're just going to pull them through. Ooh, la, la like this, and just pull them through, okay? Not from the outside, from the top. Okay. Okay, see how it just makes it a little bit more even? Rad, right? Mm -hmm. Do we have any questions while I'm keeping over here? We had a quick question, which was, is the string elasticized? Yes, thank you for bringing that up. Yes, it is elasticized, 100% elasticized. So I'm gonna show you, can you pass me that, Mercedes? So I'm gonna share with you, right, how it looks, mm -hmm. okay? They're elasticized. And generally, you can get these at any craft store. They also have bungee cords that are actually made like this. But I, again, like I like to make them bigger sometimes so we have a little bit more distance. Because the big thing that makes a ponytail so fabulous is that distance between the neck and the head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to introduce this part to the rest of her ponytail. And you can see already, because we've done most of the work here, we know where it's going to live. So what's neat is my hand already has a guideline now. It's right where it's supposed to be. Okay, and now I can just introduce this all back to the guideline. So we have one spot in which we can work. Now, I wanna share with you, I love Radiant Armor for heat protection, but I also love it for styling spray as well. It's such a wonderful way to control the hair, and we can see because we did that directional blow styling before, Mercedes' hair is quite curly, guys. Like, quite curly. Um, she's probably like a nice B, for curl pattern, okay? So she's quite curly naturally. So it's just to show you how much that's been able to relax that and make it look a little bit more polished. What is Radiant Armor? Radiant Armor is our thermal heat protector. So this is my thermal protector and heat protector. Please make sure you're always using thermal protection whenever you're doing any heat styling. But because it does have that little bit of grit to it, it's got that little bit of styling essence to it, I call it like I call it like a, a, a setting lotion too, like a styling lotion. It's really become one of the most important tools in my uh, artist kit. Like I don't think I can work with it. Yeah. Is that in the gift bag? Well, it is in the gift bag. So guys, oh. if you have any comments as well, or any questions about West Coast Beauty or about any of the techniques that I'm doing, um, please comment in the sections below so you get the opportunity to win all these awesome things. These are our favorite products here at Flow Hair Care. Flow Hair Care is a sustainably made, vegan, incredible, wonderful product line that was uh, designed for a hairstylist in mind. I'm a big fan, as you can see. <laughs> so you can see, guys, while I'm doing that, because it's back into its guideline, it just really easily finds its home. And also, too, if you're noticing my body language and my posture, it looks like a professional blow drive. Do you know what I mean? It looks like something that a professional is doing. It's not something that she could necessarily do herself at home. Have you guys noticed a lot of these ponytails have become really popular again? And I think a lot of it has to do with this reminiscence and this renaissance of 90s hairstyling. It's like, gives me a little blonde ambition to remember memories. Do you remember those? When things were so fabulous. Okay, so I'm going ahead and pulling this back and you're seeing, the thing about our beautiful flex hairspray that I love, our working hairspray, is it truly is a working hairspray where I can continue to manipulate and continue to work with it as I'm going. What's the difference between a finishing spray and a working spray? Thank you, darling. It's in the verbiage. Finishing spray implies exactly as it says. We are finished. We do not want to touch it anymore, and I'm very happy with it. So that usually means it's a dry spray. So it's like it's a fixident. Um, I'm happy with the hold, and it has a strong hold to it. 
a working spray is usually exactly what we said. A, what I like to call a wet aerosol or a wet pump spray, right? So something that still has flexibility and able to be manipulated. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Also, too, what I say, like anything that's going under a dryer, right? If it has to go under a dryer. How's that looking? You're beautiful, darling. I'm just going to come around and take a whole look. Great. She's looking over there. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know some still spray. So at West Coast Beauty, this is like we're saying with education, and I'm so thankful for Behind the Chair for giving us this opportunity to share with other stylists. Um, but it's such a wonderful way to showcase how we like to educate our teams and our hairdressers. We want to access them immediately. So you can see that my hand has not moved and that the hair has continued to come back to the same spot, which was established already with our underneath section. Okay. Here's a question. Will this style, would, will this style pony uh, cause breakage due to the tension? Thank you for bringing it up. Because I directionally blow styled the hair at a time, no. Now I find a lot of times when you've got like mommy's putting up her wet hair, like baby's wet hair, wet hair is when it's mostly susceptible to breakage, when it's damp and when it's got a lot of access. Now, if she's wearing her hair like this every day for 10 years, yes, it will damage her hair, okay? And I wanna remind you guys that tension and friction are the two worst things that can happen with long hair. That's actually why we have, when I started her ahead of time, I started her with that beautiful blo blue bottle that is zero friction, which is a leave-in detangler to make sure that I'm never pulling at knots. And also too, I have her with that 30-second uh, treatment all the time to make sure it's hydrated so it's not pulling. So thank you for bringing that up. And also too, when I'm working with a working spray, if it's catching on your brush, it's not really a working spray, it's probably a finishing spray. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can see same thing on my hand. I've gone ahead and put my, my knuckle there, or my, my thumb where it is, and that is my section. And now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and tie this. It goes in front of my thumb and in front of the uh, string that we've already done. See how I'm like really relaxed, you guys? Okay, head back, baby. I like to have her hair back, so when she sits up, it actually makes it tighter because we all want a facelift, right? <laughs> She's like, yes. How does that feel, Mercedes? Does it feel good? Yeah, that's perfect. She's like, it feels really tight. So how many times did you go around this time? So this time I went around, okay, I'm going to be really honest. I'm very systematic. I always do like three or six. You know, I don't know if that's the OCD in me. I don't know what it is. Um, now, the reason I'm going to share with you is because I like to have distance between the ponytail and the head. The more space that I can have between here, and you'll see I'm going to add more space with that, the more drama it creates with the ponytail, okay, if that makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. So before we continue, I'm going to go ahead and start finishing this. So now we've got the basic idea. How do you feel? You feel good, darling? Yes, it feels, good. It feels nice and tight. Yeah. So now we're going to be able to go through and really finish this, okay? So let's make sure we're just getting rid of the babies. And I left this here for you so that we can really see it. So I want to show you a trick. Right I'm just going to get you to tilt right down, sweet girl. Now what I like to do is use the back of the spray can for this so that my hands aren't in the way. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys a way to hide this without using any pens. What? She says? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you a way to hide this because I have a thing with ponytails. I, every collection I do, I do a ponytail and, or a, a form of it because I think it's really lovely. Okay, so I'm going to have a little artist, well, artistic uh, audience participation there. So we're going to take my hairspray, and if you want to look right on top here, Roz, you can see I'm going to take this hairspray and spray quite a bit through there and all over the top, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping that around. And then I'm going to take this hairspray again and watch where I'm guiding it. I'm right, right on where it lives. Literally right on this. I'm going to take my blow dryer and set it. Now, I'm going to turn her a little bit so you can see that side, yeah? Or yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep with this. And underneath. So see where I'm spraying? Right on the section. Mm -hmm. You notice that I'm not shying with how much I'm using. Don't shy, baby hairdressers. 
Okay, the hairspray, you know, we need it to last, okay? So again, I'm gonna make sure that's pulled over. And I'm going to set it. So I'm literally, you see what I'm doing with the directional blow stalling? I'm literally, just like I'm ironing clothes, right? Now, I want you to think about this because it is like ironing clothes. When we are working with hair, we are working with a natural fiber. So I want you to think of other natural fibers that we work with. We have, in our life, we have silk, we have cashmere, we have wool, okay? So I want you to know that hair is technically, in science world, a natural fiber. So just like natural fibers, we can manipulate them and we can um, use heat in order to set them. So Miss Mercedes is like, you're like a cashmere blend, really. <laughs> the cashmere wool, right? And silk. And kind of silky. So because of that, it can be pressed, okay? So you're noticing this is what I'm doing. I'm going ahead with the spray and see all the way through. Now, one of the things I'm sure you're going to notice is that our hairspray does not go chalky white. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I want to share with you is that I'm not just because I work with this company, Full Hair Care is an incredible company, but I have to be honest with you, I'm a hairspray junkie, and this is hands down, one of the best working hairsprays I've ever worked with in my career. It just continues to get better. So what's so nice is it will give you that amazing hold, but notice the shine, like how beautifully shiny this section is. And notice there's no chalkiness or weird whiteness. It just continues. It's a true working spray. And it's like the hairspray I've been looking for my whole career. Okay, so notice I'm just going ahead and I'm literally painting that to where I want it to live. So remember we're talking about heat setting and directional blow styling. Blow styling is, again, it really needs to be called exactly that, blow styling. It's not blow drying. We're styling and we're manipulating it so it works for us. I'm just going to finish this little, little piece right here. Is this the end? This is the end. Okay. And that, my dear, is how we hide the elastic. And so there's really no need to tuck it under. I feel good. Shake your head, babe. Shake it. that neat. And see what it does as well is it creates all of this distance. I'm just going to make sure it's perfect because I'm a sensitive artist and I like things to look a certain way. We had a question. Um, does this hairspray work on ethnic hair? Yes. Thank you for bringing that up. I have tested this on literally 187 different cultures in downtown Toronto. So we're a very multicultural city. And yes, I use this on all types of textures, including super curly. In fact, when I retail, this is my favorite hairspray to sell to super curly, um, including a C3, C4, B3, B4, B5 type curl type. Does that make sense? Yes. So let's go ahead and finish the beauty. How's it looking here, darlings? Are we loving how it's looking? Mm -hmm. Are you having some distance? Is she looking wonderful? So we're gonna finish this up. So now let's finish this up so that it's absolutely gorgeous. And with this working spray, you know, I can go ahead and just get any of these baby hairs. Now I'm here to tell you guys, if we did not directionally blow style her ahead of time, there's no way we'd be able to get this, this nice and this clean because she's so curly, right? Like she's really quite curly. So we had to make sure we got rid of a lot of that. So if you wanted to see where my, where my comb is going in here too, Roz, I just want to just kind of get rid of some of those comb lines. So see this one here? We just want to kind of introduce that to her friend. Same here. See there's that little distance? We just want to introduce that so it's nice and clean. Now, if there's any comments that you have about this or any questions that we have about Coast Beauty, please feel free to comment um, below. If you comment below on this look or you have any questions about this look, you get the opportunity to win all these amazing products. So I want to share with you, what's Coast Beauty is unique? We really are starting a revolution. We are the first of its kind where we are completely uh, online distributor, professional beauty distributorship of its kind which means that now we have the opportunity to get the support that we need 24 seven, seven days a week. So if we have issues, if we have problems, we have questions for our products, we can have access to that. It also means we can choose the best education that works for us. Like, do we need business classes? Do we need retail classes? Do we need like, you know, styling and education and artistic classes? It also means for me, and as a business person, that I open up my retail world to everybody. So it means I get the opportunity to retail to anybody, not just my clients, 24 seven, seven days a week. And it means I don't need to carry all of that inventory. They can actually shop in our boutique spot and purchase whatever feels good where we get paid commission exactly the same. Fabulous. <laughs> Love it. How's it looking? Is it looking okay over there, pumpkins? Mm -hmm. Now we get some reviews. Looking okay? Sounded nice. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you a way, a little trick, so I kind of finish all this up. I want to share with you, I love my shine serum as well. Okay, and to me, it's like, I want to kind of adjust this so that it's like, you know, as, as beautiful as it can be. But in particular, it's this distance. So I'm just going to show you, like, to me, this is what makes a great ponytail, is that distance between the head and, uh, you know, the neck, right? So when you see a ponytail that's not, you know, professionally done, it's like these droopy drawers are down here. And the eye follows a line. So if we could just focus on like the side of her head, mm -hmm. you see that it's like a cheekbone city when we have stuff like this, mm -hmm. okay? So we really wanna make sure that we're practicing. The difference between good and great in hairdressing is consistency, in my opinion. So, you know, for example, you know, we have to consistently be fantastic. Great hairstylists are always making sure that the look that they're giving them looks the best on their client's face that they can possibly get. So if somebody's looking for something really unique and different and she wants to learn how to style, please show her a way to do a really fabulous ponytail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up. How are we doing on time? We're doing perfectly. We have, uh, let's say another five minutes. Is Beautiful, that... it's almost like I've done this before, right? <laughs> right? It's like pretty awesome. I really wanna take a moment and while we're talking about this in West Coast Beauty, you know, I just want to take a moment with fellow hairdressers out there. I know this is a really unique year for us all, okay? So I just want to share to you guys, we are all like such a cool group of people. I, I can't say uh, how much more impressed I am with hairdressers, how hard we've been working through this entire thing. We see you, we see each other, we're here to support you. If there's anything that you need, West Coast Beauty is here to support our fellow hairdressers in this industry. So stick with each other, stay safe, look after each other. And also too, for these holidays coming up, spend a little bit of time with yourself for a little health care. Some of these techniques we can have an opportunity to try on our own, yeah? Um, quick question. Yes. It was more of an exclamation, which was, you didn't have to clip the ends of the ponytail tie at all? That's correct. Are you impressed? It's impressive. <laughs> so um, can you show us how to do that again? Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break my pretty thing for you because this is a holiday you're, present. You're breaking the pony? I'm breaking the ponytail for this question. Okay, let's okay? see. So I see I'm just gonna kind of release it a little bit so you can see where the end was, okay? So when we're doing this, okay, as you know, I started the whole section and the hairspray has to be evenly distributed throughout the whole section. So whenever I'm spraying and wrapping, it's, it's equally wet all the way through. Okay, you can't just do it on the top and hope it will stick. Okay, it's gotta be all the way through. So then once I get it to where I'm liking it, so see how I like literally like peel it over like that? Yeah. And then what I do is I take some heat because if we know about directional blow styling, we know this is gonna set. And I set her hair like that. Ta-da! Right? So this has been a really helpful technique for me for a bunch of stuff because let's imagine if I'm doing an editorial look where I have like like eight or nine different ponytails in order to create it. Like having an elastic or a pin in there can just get in your way. Like it's just kind of a pain in the butt. So um, I actually, a master stylist taught me this a long time ago and I remember seeing it going, wow. And ever since then I've been sharing it with other clients and other hairdressers. So um, yeah, no pin. Now, if you want to make sure if she's a dancer or if she's like a jazz dancer or ballerina, and you want to be extra safe, yeah, put a pin in there. But I have tested this at many weddings. I've seen girls swinging around and it still stays. So, I mean, I'm very happy and proud of that. And the reason it is is because we're setting it with heat. Make sense? It's not like we're just doing it on its own. Okay, so we're just going to finish this up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of root root. So what, one of the things I love about a ponytail is fatness. Okay, I'm going to have a little bit of fatness. So we're just going to jazz this up a little bit. And while I'm finishing up, guys, Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share with fellow hairdressers. It's one of my favorite things and a huge blessing in my life that I've had the opportunity to share with the coolest people in the world. That's right. Hairdressers are the coolest people in the world. Have you met suits? They're boring. Okay. <laughs> so there was a question, how much shine serum did you use? Thank you for asking that. Our product is really concentrated. So I'm used literally, I'm gonna share with you for the entire head. Okay, about a pea size. Mm. And there's still some on your hands. Okay, yeah. oh, and some of it's hairspray and other things too. Yeah. So I'll share with you that is ample for mm -hmm. the entire head, if not too much. Mm -hmm. Now, please, my friends, please hear me. You still need to be hairdressers. You have to know the hair that you're working on in front of you. Okay? If she has a lot of hair, you're going to need to use more product. <laughs> if she has less hair, you're going to need less product. It's just how it goes. Okay? but you still have to be a hairdresser, yeah, darlings? 
that makes sense. How's it looking, my friends? Do we like? Um, here's a question. Bobby pins all over the world are crying. Ha ha ha, love it. Oh, that's so cute. That was from Aaron. And to be honest with you, Aaron, if I'm being really honest with you, and, and the reason why I kind of fell upon this technique is because I've been traveling doing education for a long time. And you know there's really only four bobby pins on planet Earth, and they just get keep recycling around. <laughs> right? So it was like, I got to a point where I had to do this. Um, I had to give myself a really cute look, and I didn't have any bobby pins. And so I, I learned out of it from necessity. So my pleasure to share that with you guys. And I hope bobby pins are crying, because they've made us cry over the years. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a question from Aaron. Does the hairspray finish crunchy? Thank you for asking that. No, OK? I want to share with you. If I, I, I don't want to necessarily play favorites, but like I'm an old school hairdresser, so I'm half made of hairspray, really, if I'm being honest with you. So as a working spray, this is hands down the best hairspray I've used in my career. This is our Flex hairspray. And when we have our Flex spray, it has what they like to call like memory to it. So what means, okay, she's okay. <laughs> that was an extreme close-up. It was up. so good that it literally made her fall over. Like, that's how excited she was about this hairspray. Right? So I want to share with you, this has memory to it. So what that means is, is that if we put it under the heat, it expands and it can contract and it still will have its hold. So it never gives you that crunchy monkey mall hair. That's what I kind of call it, a mall hair, you know what I mean, where you've seen it in the 90s in the mall, right? So it will never look like that. So enjoy that. Excellent. Thank okay. you. So we're just going to finish up a little bit really quickly. We've used a root reboot. And I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to see us. Do you see how fat that makes that ponytail? Just keep making it fatter and fatter. Wow. Right? And then what I like to do to finish everything up is I put a little bit of spray on a toothbrush. And I just go ahead and take those edges to make sure she's as lovely. I'm going to leave these guys. She's got like all kinds of new hair now, eh? my darling. So I just want to take the time while I have everybody here to thank them so much for uh, watching. I hopefully uh, learned something today and it's something that you could take back to your salons. I do want to share hairdresser to hairdresser. Try to do something different with your clients. Try to share something different. You know, we're all in this together and to make somebody feel beautiful is a noble cause. And there's nothing better than giving some girl a really snatched ponytail that makes her just feel gorgeous. So I'm gonna move out of the way so she can take her mask off and do her gorgeous reveal. Um, I sincerely hope that you enjoyed it. And again, uh, looking forward to seeing you guys at West Coast Beauty. If you uh, sign up today, you get an opportunity to win all these beautiful gifts. Hopefully you enjoyed. Amazing and turn that one. Wow. Feels so secure and so good. Thank you.